as a usual concept of mine, I just press record and start talking shit until we are about 20 minutes in and then I press stop and then I go and meditate. And either way, I always practice. I practice when I press record and somehow it just seems to me that I always go to more than 22 minutes around there, right? But one thing we do forget, we gotta put this. Oh. We're gonna put this over like our screen. We're gonna be looking at the time because that's not the point. Give some good concepts. Alright, now I cannot see myself. I can only see this little dot. Little fucking dot. Alrighty. Alrighty. You. Let me give you something. Let me give you something, something. How, how is that? Edit it out. If you can. It has been a long time since I put something on my wall. So for me to put something on my wall. Right now. Is that bit okay? Okay. Right? Let me tell you this. What doesn't get measured, does not get improved. What does not get measured, does not get improved. What doesn't get measured, does not get improved. And then I also got intensity, volume and frequency for some like other mindset or thinking from Luke Bauer. But they kind of hit me, they kind of hit me. Like, what doesn't get measured, does not get improved. And I was thinking about, do I really measure my stuff? Do I really measure if my meditation has gone better? Listen, it's like, no, not necessarily. So technically it can't improve because you can't, you, know, you haven't measured it, so you don't know. We can figure out how to measure, but if you haven't even yet measured, it's like, the fuck? What doesn't get measured does not get improved. You can be doing the same shit over and over again, thinking you're doing something good and you're not. You may be deluded. I could be doing all these fucking habits and maybe they're not like improving my life. I mean, I guess they are 100%. But, like, it's also good to measure. Just measure. What you what could you improve on as well? What could you improve on? Maybe you should do a long meditation. Maybe that's, that's, that's something to improve on. Maybe 5 minutes isn't the most you should do. Maybe 40 minutes is the most you should do. Maybe 25 minutes is the most you should do. Or 20, I don't know. So what doesn't get measured, does not get improved. Y'all gotta measure your shit. Not you, the stuff you're doing. What are you, what is you doing? First off, simply asking a question is improving your life is the first step. And if it ain't, you gotta stop. Then the other stuff that are improving your life, you gotta measure them. How, by how much are they improving your life? By how much? Because what doesn't get measured, does not get improved. You have to measure. Say you start meditating, you're level one. You go, go and go through, go through. How do you know if you reach level two, let's say, right? Of more like mindfulness. How do you know? I'm mean, sure you could really kind of think about it, but how do you really know? You've got to measure. Got to like wrap this shit down. What the fuck is the difference? What are, what am I doing differently? Or what am I doing wrong in the meditation? Am I doing this? Am I doing that? Should I be doing this? Should I be doing that? That's how you could measure. You write shit down and you do that stuff. And if it improves, this is the trial and error. And if, if it improves, okay, you keep doing the thing that you said you would change. And you just keep going with the same thing. And then if something else happens, then you just change and then you try and there and see what works, see what doesn't. That's how you measure. Same with other stuff. Reading a book. You measure. You write shit down. What is this? Does this work? Does this work? Or oh, maybe this type of book don't work. Okay, maybe that. Maybe I should be reading fast. Maybe I should be reading slow. Maybe I should be online. Maybe I should be not. Oh, should I do this before I read a book? Should I do this after I read a book? Now, what's up? 
and then you try those things and some of the things will won't will not work okay so you don't do them and then some of the things will work so you keep doing them so again what doesn't get measured does not get improved and the way you measure things is by trial and error but for you to trial and error you're going to need to first write down all the possible things that you could be doing differently whether it's good or bad what could you be doing differently and then try them see what works and then do the best one that's what you've been simply for all different but on a general basis that's the way you improve that's the way you improve in luke belmont's terms that's how you get to 10k a month the fuck especially in the business world like the fuck if you're improving what the fuck could you be doing differently well i know stuff that i could be doing differently right now i need to upload a second video today which i'm going to want to do and then i'm going to have the time to upload uh, um the video for tomorrow which means i can like edit the video that i'm going to upload after because there are two videos in a day but i'm not uploading two videos in a day i'm uploading one video a day which means a uh, second video i'm gonna have for tomorrow which means that second video for tomorrow i can edit today so that's one thing i could be doing editing my videos editing making them much better making them much more like fucking understandable rather than me stuttering saying random shit cut that shit out make it look like you were supposed to say what you were supposed to say and yeah it makes someone understand it more or whatever the fuck you just saw like a couple minutes ago with whatever i just said it's like the fuck what is this guy talking about like no sense i mean no sense that's one thing another thing maybe i could be doing a bit of farming I'm like, eh. Yeah. But yeah, it's something I can be doing. Editing, I'm gonna be fighting an editor, doing research, fucking gaining knowledge, education simply is what you should be doing. So like I go for the trial and see what works, see what doesn't see if my videos editing my videos is any worth it if the, especially right now, see if I'm not this, this this, maybe I should look into the research, maybe this a trial and error, this doesn't work, okay. Um this works okay, let me keep doing that, da 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 da. But what about you? What about you? Where, whatever stage you're in, what about you? What doesn't get measured does not get improved. So you gotta measure your shit. And you may be thinking, wait a second. Well, I mean, you can still improve if you don't necessarily measure. You're right. You can. But you also can't. Because how the fuck do you know? Realize that your perception right now, think about this. Your perception of the fucking world is probably wrong. Mine is wrong. 99% of people's perception of the world is wrong. It probably is. Media, school, education, whatever the fuck is to us, whatever our family has brung like, the beliefs into us, is probably wrong. 99% of people have probably 99% of the wrong things of the perception of the world. That simple. So, to think that, like, this statement is wrong, but doesn't get measured, does not get improved, that you may be just wrong. And then when you, okay, if it's wrong, then let me try and see if it's right. And then when you actually try it, and then it works, then maybe it is the right side of thing. If you're thinking that it doesn't make sense, Most of the shit we think about don't make sense. Our fucking perception of the world don't make sense. We just do, most of us are just dumb. And some of you can't fucking, maybe we're just, we're just fucking dumb, the fuck. What doesn't get measured does not get improved. Don't want to round in on the shit. But, with like, with the statement, a way you can best fucking formula you can use to like improve will be intensity volume frequency number one intensity simply how like how focus intensity in other words is focus how fucking focused are you how intense are you like fuck it let's do this shit let's fucking tap it on the keyboard 
intensity, focus, pure fucking focus. The volume, how much are you doing it? So you do this one. Finish, break, T. You're doing it again. And then the next day, whacking. Or reading a book, whatever the fuck it is, that's volume. And then frequency is more than a longer period of time. Intensity, you focusing, okay, volume, you're doing it. I want your time today and the frequency, consistency. Frequency, in other words, is consistency. Are you consistent with intensity and volume? And then that's like the whole thing like combined. Mushed up the fucking little piece of shit compared to fucking maths times two, which makes you improve. You get a point. <laughs> Rinse the shit out though. Rinse it. Mm -mm -mm. I tried to put tape on my mouth when sleeping, but it wasn't the best sleep. Yes, oh, let me talk about it. yesterday was some sleep. Yesterday was some sleep. I guess the best sleep I've had this whole 100 days on my dopamine detox journey. I guess the only reason why is because I let go of the fear. I let go of worry. I swear to God, it's crazy. How how would you think that letting go of a fear you have, you didn't even knew you have, would actually help you sleep better? Let me tell you what that fear slash worry was. I like I knew I was waking up. I was wondering why. And then one day I just like saw myself knowing why. Maybe two days ago I was like, yo, you waking up because you're worried. You waking up because you're worried that you ain't gonna wake up at 3 30 a.m. You wake up because you like worried that you might skip the alarm. And then you may miss your habits and then your whole schedule is fucked. You worry because of that. And because you worry about that, your whole sleep is fucked. It's shit. You wake up multiple times in the in the night, checking on your phone to see if you like didn't miss the alarm. Nope, still one hour left. Nope, still thirty minutes left. Nope, still fifteen minutes left to, till the alarm goes. Like, damn. And ultimately, you just like you cool, you still wake up, you do what you need to do, but like you could have had a better sleep if you simply didn't worry. My new mindset now is like, like it's rare for the alarm not to go off. It's happened only maybe once. Right, it's 100 days, so it's like, you just don't need to worry. You don't need to fucking worry about this shit. And it's kind of counterintuitive, but it, like, literally makes shit better because you sleep better. You just simply will be more productive. But like, also, don't think about it. Like, you don't worry about you waking up. You're going to wake up anyway. You need to understand that. Like, for me, I need to understand that I will wake up anyway. Like, that was... Not only did I been doing this, have I been doing this for a long time, which I'll probably wake up around that time anyway without the alarm, but the alarm is probably going to come on when I'm like nearly 100% anyway. Probably 100%. All I need to do is the night before just check if the alarm is even on, if I maybe have turned off by accident. That's the only thing. And after you don't have to worry. But because I've been worrying, now I realise that that's the reason why my sleep was so shit. And for the first time, I told myself, like not check my phone in the middle of the night to see what time it is to see if the clock is on to see <gasps> wait did i miss the fucking alarm i'm gonna be late and then no, no, no. just to not worry i told myself to be okay if you're gonna be late cool. i told myself to prioritize sleep even more like if you're gonna not be able to do the meditation cool cool this 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 cool but just prioritize your sleep and then guess what i had the best sleep of a fucking long time. I still woke up. I still woke up. Once. But I woke up once. Compared to like four or five times. And I was asleep. The best sleep I've ever had. And yesterday. Or today. When I woke up. Wasn't the best sleep. But I guess that's because of the. Uh, mouth trap. And then I'm going to try again. This is trial and error. Try again. To see maybe if without the mouse, without the strap on my mouth, maybe I'll sleep better. And if that's the case, then okay, there's a pattern. I didn't have the mouth, 
then I have the strap and I sleep good. I have the strap and I sleep shit. And then I don't have the strap and I sleep. Okay, there's a pattern. Right? So what does it get measured does not improve? And if I measure that shit, like, okay, this is the thing I need to be doing, it will improve. And if I also keep doing the, f like, thinking to myself, like, yo, don't worry, don't even check your phone. To see if you, like, if you're waking up late or anything. Nah, don't worry, it's fine. If anything, you should tell yourself, like, yo, don't care if you wake up late. Like, simply, like, prioritize your sleep. It's been so shit for a long time. Right? You've, like, maxed out every other thing that you could do. So right now, this is the best thing you can do. And literally, don't worry about other stuff. You know, if you wake up at 5 a.m., cool. 6 a.m., cool. What can you do? It's what it is. Or just make sure you prioritize your sleep. That's something I've been doing. And it's crazy because it was simply a worry, a fear that literally made me wake up. I woke up. I'm here. It's like, fuck, 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 fuck. And I check the time. I check the time. Because I'm thinking I'm maybe late. It seems like I've had so much sleep. Nope, still three hours left. Till the alarm wakes up. The fuck? <laughs> Go sleep. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Still one hour and 30 minutes left. One hour still. Oh, oh, and again. Oh, still 30 minutes left. I should stop. You're ruining your sleep because you're worrying about if you're waking. And this happens every single day. It happened every single day, basically. It's like, now you see why your sleep was so shit. You don't wake up because of other factors. It's not like you wake up to go to the toilet. Nah, you woke up because you were worried that you were going to like wake up late or something. So you just need to get rid of that fear and be a bit more logical. Like, the alarm's going to go off anyway. Don't worry about it. Don't check your phone about it. It's going to go off. Don't worry. The fuck? And then for the first time, I had the best sleep ever. I, I think I woke up once. I had the best sleep ever. I woke up like, damn. And guess what? Like, without even realizing it as well, it's like, I'm, I'm eating my food and damn, I'm realizing like, I I saved an extra two minutes. To, like, to me, that's crazy. Because, let me tell you, I've maxed out my speed run. I've maxed out my speed run. Maxed it out. I run downstairs to get all the, get in and then slowly take the cold bath whilst I start the timer. But like, I run I don't waste time. I don't waste a second. And then suddenly once um, like, I have the best sleep, I wake up and like do my habits, but like, without even realizing it because I like have much more energy because of the good sleep. I like just do shit even faster somehow. I literally somehow reach past my max. And for like an hour, which normally I'd save like 30 minutes, I save an extra two minutes. And apparently the 30 minutes was my max and somehow I still saved up an extra two minutes. So it's like, it's a bit crazy. It's a bit crazy. It's like, how far can you fucking go? Like, how fast can you actually do this shit? Because there is a limit. You can't just fucking in, out. And out, but you, you get the point. But yeah. Sleep is super fucking important. And I should probably make a whole thing simply because now I know like, I guess every single step, all I need to go through is trial and error to see what I'm talking about works. Right? So today, when I go to sleep, I will not put the tape on. I will think about not worrying about the alarm going well off and making sure that my phone, if like, as if a habit, I put my phone somewhere else further from my bed. So like, I didn't even have a temptation or even an idea to like, Check the phone because it's right there. Why the fuck are you gonna get up to check your phone? And I don't mean checking my phone to like no going into like none of that, none of that weird shit, degenerate shit. I mean like like just checking the time. So like if it's dead, then yeah, man, I don't need to worry about it, and then sleep will be good. Well, I need to go through trial and error, and then new videos with good fucking information will be able to come out. Literally, man, because sleep is so fucking important. So important. I've had these days. I've had these days of sleep. And then randomly, I switched this fear, like, my final barrier to a good sleep. And I have one of the best sleeps I have, have had in a long time. You know, before my monk mode, 
monk modes, all of them, I definitely had much better sleep. Simply not, like, I guess I didn't have a barrier. I slept as much as I want, woke up what time I wanted. So that was like a bad thing. Like, you, you have much better sleep like if you said, go sleep at the same time and wake up at the same time. But still, okay, it's all cool. But the biggest one was I didn't have the barrier. The barrier wasn't to like wake up at a certain time. Like there wasn't a barrier because I could wake up what time I want. I could wake up at 10 a.m., 11, 12, 1 p.m., 2 p.m. It wouldn't matter. There was no consequences. But now there's consequences if I don't wake up. So that's why there was like the fear, the fucking worry of fuck. The consequences are crazy. And I was one day missed, but still the consequences on a long period of time are crazy. So that I was just worried and worried and fear like not waking up. Not being able to like, take the cold shower, take the cold bed, take this, take that, do this, do that. Yeah, man. So we just got rid of that fear. And like, kind of, in a counterintuitive way, it somehow made things even better. It's like the example of when you don't, like, you have a business and you don't necessarily focus on, like, the money, as, like, gaining as much money actually focus on the people you actually somehow counterintuitively make more money without even thinking focusing on like much about the money you somehow make more money it's the same thing with sleep if you don't focus on this like for me if i don't focus on this other stuff then i somehow get more sleep better sleep if i don't think about like the sleep i somehow get better sleep I don't know if that makes sense and in, in, in my in my head right now it doesn't seem like it's the right um metaphor you could say. But I think you can kinda of, yeah, okay, yeah, it is what it means, yeah. So I got rid of my fit. I am looking to today's sleep. And it will probably be something I'll talk about. I'll make sure also to upload another video. Whatever I think, whatever I learned today, whatever I'm doing today. I should definitely go out of my house though. Wait a minute. Life is good. Remember what I said. Now I'm taking off the trap. How long have we talked for? Oh, 22 minutes. What the fuck? Nearly 23 minutes. Who fucking knew? Flow state. That's what I'm talking about. All you gotta do for y'all people who are scared or would even know to like, what the fuck do you talk about? Just like literally. I guess I'm, I'm talking about my life. I'm talking about the shadow. Fuck. Whatever the fuck comes in my head, and I'll be talking for 23 minutes. Simply me trying to improve my speaking. I'm committed enough already. It's cool. We figured it out. We uploaded about 100 videos. But now it's like actually fucking improving shit. What do you do next? Right? I did it. Been going for 20 minutes. Only reason I'm here is because I don't want I needed to do. To be at the place that I want to be. That I want to be. Fuck. I fucked up. It's what it is. I love you, man. Make sure to sub if you want to. Peace.